to make a drawing like this work, this far edge, the one that is partially obscured from your view, has to come up in the right place. As this edge curves around here, behind the scenes, it's going to come down right through there. If this edge were to come up in here, or out in here, the leaf would not look right. A way of working with this, here I'll draw leaf again, there's the rounded side, there's the long side going to the sharp point. Continue that curve around. And to get this next edge to come up into the right place, think of where this back side would naturally come around and actually draw that with your pencil above the paper a few times. All right, if I make it come down here, that would be and for it to come in here, that's not going to jump up to there. I don't want it to come here, then it would have to somehow awkwardly get over there. It's going to, if it curves, if this curve, its match is going to be coming somewhere in here. There we are. And that makes that edge line up with that. The same thing is true for the mid vein. If my mid vein is coming up here, that's going to curve around and come out somewhere back here. Just this little section in here, I'm not going to draw that all the way through, but that should be a continuous line, just like that front edge. If I draw my mid vein here, and then have this one come up here. See, there's, it's hard to get from here to over here. What would that have to do? Behind the scenes, it would have to jump over there. But if in the stead, there, that's what I would want it to do. So use 3D vision to look at through that surface of the leaf that you can't see. What is that mid vein going to be doing back there? What is that far side going to be doing behind the scenes? There's one last trick that you can use to help get uh, a little bit of depth in a drawing like this. That is, you want this edge that is coming along here to come up closer to you. If you're using pen and ink or pencil, if you strengthen that line, if that's a bolder line, with pen and ink and pencil, bolder lines really pop forward. So just by strengthening this part of the drawing, the part that I want to come forward, that pulls that part of the drawing up towards you. So if I have a leaf that's coming down like this, and I really want this to come forward, I'm going to strengthen that edge that's going to pull that end of the leaf towards me. So we're almost ready to start drawing a real leaf, but there's one important difference between what we see with this leaf model and a real leaf. If I take a look at a real leaf in cross-section, very often I'm seeing a side that comes down, there's the mid vein, to a slight degree in these leaves here that are in front of me, it starts high, drops down slightly to where the mid vein is, then up on the other side. How does that look on a leaf model like this? I, I can't actually, how does that look, how does that look on a leaf model? I can't actually replicate that very well with this. If I fold my leaf up to mimic that, I can no longer curl it, it becomes straight. All right, but so if I want this V, this curve to it, and have that curl at the same time, here's what that would look like. My leaf is going to be similar in starting the shape here, except that instead of that top shape being flat across the top, 
it's going to come down here. So there's a V at the top. The greater the angle of the top of that leaf, the greater this V will be. Now here is the back side of my leaf. Here's the far side of my leaf coming out. It's going to come down something like that. If I'm looking at a leaf with a slight V to it from the underside, that side that's facing away from me, I'm going to see that as foreshortened. So now foreshortening is coming into the relative lengths of on the underside of the leaf. Right? So where will this midvein be? I'm going to have a short side and a long side of the top of the leaf. And similarly, I have a short side and a long side on the underside of the leaf. So because that leaf is V'd like this, so because that leaf is V'd, when you're looking at it from the underside, one side will be foreshortened more, one side will appear longer. On here, there's my foreshortened side, there's my longer side. And notice that these are reversed on the top. This side of the leaf, I'm seeing the full side of it here, it's foreshortened here. I'm now seeing the long side of the leaf and the one that's furthest away from me. That on the underside of the leaf here will be the short side. So look for this V in the top of the leaf. Look for this top surface here to be narrower than its counterpart on the other side. And on the underside of the leaf we're seeing exactly the same thing. There's a long side and there's a narrow side. Now get out a real leaf start looking at what you see, this model in your head of what you've seen happening with the leaf model can help you expect your leaf to do certain things. But most importantly, believe the real leaf in front of you. It's going to be turning, it's going to be curling in ways that you wouldn't make up. Believe the leaf. Draw what you see, but use these models that we've been looking at to help inform your understanding of what you see. They sometimes get you looking in places that you otherwise would not have looked as carefully, such as what is the angle around the corner of the top. And have fun doing it.